We have done the Premier League in a Champions League format. We've done CDI in Italy in a Champions League format. But I think today, guys, it's time to head to Germany. How would the Bundesliga play out if it was in the same format as the Champions League? Would Bayern Munich still be just as dominant? Or maybe clubs like Borussia Dortmund, Leipzig, and Bayer Leverkusen step up to the occasion? Or would we have a minnow side in comparison to the big German giants become a fairy tale story? Well, today we're going to find all that out because it is the Bundesliga with 32 clubs, but it plays like the Champions League. So unlike the Premier League in City A, the Bundesliga actually has only 18 clubs that participate in the top division instead of 20. So we will have to find 14 more clubs to participate in this Bundesliga Champions League. And we're gonna do that by simming one full season in the second division of German football, the second Bundesliga. And after the season is completed in the second Bundesliga, the top 14 finishers will join the 18 Bundesliga clubs for a total of 32 for our Bundesliga Champions League. Alright, so the season in the second Bundesliga is completed. All 34 matches have been played. Who are the top 14 clubs in the second in Bundesliga that will be joining us. Well, Schalke is definitely going to be there because they finished first. They're definitely going to be there. St. Pauli is going to be there as well. Dusseldorf will be there. Hamburg will be there. They finished in fourth. I'm definitely cheering for Hamburg because uh, we have the Hamburg career mode on the channel. Plus, Fiago is a Hamburg fan and uh, me and Fiago are friends. So, I don't know how far Hamburg can get in this competition, but we're definitely cheering for Hamburg. Karls Ruher will be joining us as well with Hanover, Hertha, and Paderborn. Kaiser Slauten, who finished in ninth, they'll be there. Firth, Vehen Wiesbaden will be there as well because they're in 11th. Osnabrück is in 12th. Hansa Rostock in 13th. And the final club that will be playing in the Bundesliga Champions League, FC Nuremberg. They're the last ones. Unfortunately, Holsten Kiel, Magdeburg, Elvisburg, and Braunschweig, they miss out. And of course, now we all know that we have to seed the 32 clubs into eight groups of four. Now, we've done this previously with a wheel. We've done this previously with a magic hat. We've done this previously with a magic red box. But today... We're going to use magic cards, yeah? And we're gonna be drawing cards to seed the clubs. All the 32 clubs are on these random cards. I don't know which card to pick, but we need to find the first four clubs for Group A. Let's go, let's go with this one right here. Who is it gonna be? Osnabrück, Hoffenheim, Hansa Rostock, and Darmstadt. That's a pretty even group, I would say. Hoffenheim may be the favorite, but probably not a massive favorite. So we got Group A. We need to find four clubs for Group B. Which card? Um, This one, this one. Let's go with this one. What is it? Union Berlin, Karlsruhe. Ruher, Bochum. I misspelled Bochum for some reason. <laughs> Borussia Mönchengladbach. Three Bundesliga side and Karlsruher, who's a second Bundesliga side. Probably they're a little bit of an underdog here. We got the clubs for Group A and B. Hopefully for Group C my ball knowledge and my pronunciations and spelling will be a little bit better. Let's find four clubs for Group C. Which card should we pick? Let's go with uh, I'll close my eyes. This one. Hanover, St. Pauli, Bayer Leverkusen, and Mainz. Okay, so now we got two Bundesliga sides and two two second Bundesliga sides, but St. Pauli is a good second Bundesliga side. So is Hanover. Bayer Leverkusen are probably the favorites, but Mainz might have a hard time with Hanover and St. Pauli. Looking for the next four clubs for Group D. We haven't seen Hamburg. We haven't seen Borussia Dortmund or Bayern Munich. Let's pick a card. This one. What do we got? Who's it going to be? Freiburg, Hamburg. There's Hamburg, Augsburg, and Werder Bremen. This is a pretty even group, I would say. Maybe Hamburg actually has a chance of progressing. Maybe Freiburg advances. Maybe Augsburg or maybe Bremen does. This is very, very even. Four groups down, four groups to go. We need four clubs for Group E. This card right here. Give me something good. Group of death. Borussia Dortmund, Dusseldorf, Hertha Berlin, and Wolfsburg. I mean, it's not bad. It's still a competitive group, but Borussia Dortmund is probably the favorites. Maybe Dusseldorf and Hertha Berlin can give Wolfsburg a little bit run for their money. I'm not sure. Group F, Group F, Group F. Let's go with this card right here. This one. Bayern Munich. Uh, Bayern, man always buying the league, man. They got the easiest group. Bayern Munich, Kaiserslautern, Schalke, and Firth. Three second Bundesliga sides for Bayern Munich, man. This is easy. If they don't get out of this group, I mean, Harry Kane, I'm looking at you, man. If you can't get out of this group, there's something wrong. Well, we got two groups left and we're looking for four clubs for Group G. We'll go with this card right here. Nuremberg, Leipzig, Stuttgart, and Frankfurt. I think that has to be the group of death because Leipzig, Stuttgart, and Frankfurt are all three really good competitive Bundesliga sides. Nuremberg, they kind of got the crappy end of the stick. I mean, it would be a miracle if they get out of it, but you never know. And there's only four clubs left, so it doesn't matter which card we pick. They're going to be the same four clubs that are left for Group H. Heidenheim, Paderborn, Vehen Wiesbaden, and FC Cologne. FC Cologne. Honestly, another very, very even group. I think all the groups are kind of competitive except the Bayern Munich group. All of our 32 Bundesliga Champions League clubs have been seated in their groups from a 
to H. Let's go to the end of the group stage matches. Are we going to have any upsets? Some of these groups are really tight and unpredictable. And also, of course, if you guys enjoy the content, if you could please take a second and hit the like button for me, I would really appreciate it. And also the subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet with the little noti bell. Ding, ding. Wait, no, that's a... That's that's not an Odie bell sound. That's not a bell sound. That is a bicycle sound. Either way, please do that for me. I would really appreciate it. Let's go. Group stage matches are over, guys. Let's go and see who made it out of the group into the round of 16 and who is unfortunately is eliminated and going home. Well, in group A, I can tell you that it was Darmstadt that topped the group. Uh, surprisingly, I thought Hoffenheim would do it, but Hoffenheim came in second while Hansa Rostock put up a decent fight. Unfortunately, they came up a little short while Osnabrück, they were not very good. They're eliminated. Group B was topped and dominated by... By Union Berlin. They're having a very bad season currently in the Bundesliga, but here they dominated. Borussia Mönchengladbach second. That was probably going to be the case all the time. Karlsruher in third on five points. They won a match and Bochum, very surprising. They went absolutely winless on two points and they're going home. Group C was topped by Bayer Leverkusen as expected. They went undefeated under Shabby Alonso. Five wins, one draw, 16 points out of 18. The battle for second was very, very close, but at the end of the day, it was another Bundesliga side. It was FSV Mainz that tops it. In Hamburg in Group D is eliminated. They're going home. They tried to put up a fight. They won one match. Finished on five points. Above Augsburg though. Augsburg. A Bundesliga side. They bottled it. They were not good whatsoever. It was Freiburg and Werder Bremen that are moving on on 13 and 11 points. What happened to you Augsburg? In Group E it was a race for first between Borussia Dortmund and Wolfsburg and Borussia Dortmund won that race on 13 points. Wolfsburg a close second on 11 points. Hurt the Berlin. Put up a decent fight. They won two matches and one of them, by the way, was against Borussia Dortmund. That's where Borussia Dortmund's single loss comes from. It was at the hands of Hertha Berlin. But at the end of the day, it was Wolfsburg and Dortmund that dominated the group. Dusseldorf was not good whatsoever. Two points going home just like Hertha. In Group F where Bayern Munich was, it was always going to be dominated by Bayern Munich. There was no surprises whatsoever. Bayern, five wins, one draw on 16 points out of 18. Schalke in second on six points. It was actually extremely close for a second place. Firth also on six points just misses out a little bit and Kaiserslautern on four points also just miss out. Group G was actually topped by Stuttgart on 12 points over Leipzig and Frankfurt. Leipzig a close second on 10 points. They almost got eliminated. Almost. They were close. Frankfurt just a little bit short. Three points behind Leipzig and Nuremberg actually put up a decent fight against three solid Bundesliga sides. Finished on five points. Unfortunately Frankfurt a big Bundesliga side and Nuremberg they're eliminated. And finally in Group H we have some surprises. It was Köln that top the group but second place Vehen Visbaden I hope I said that right but SV Vehen Visbaden is progressing to the round of 16 while a Bundesliga side in Heidenheim is going home so is Paderborn Paderborn were atrocious they were not in the conversation whatsoever but Visbaden man Vehen what happened <laughs> you're progressing this is amazing the round of 16 matchups will be as follows it will be Darmstadt versus Schalke I would say probably quite an even matchup although Darmstadt is a Bundesliga side but Schalke Schalke is a quality second Bundesliga side that unfortunately now plays in the second Bundesliga. Union Berlin will face Mainz, also a pretty even matchup. I'm not sure who's winning that one. FC Köln, they will face Wolfsburg. Probably Wolfsburg is a bit of the favorites, but maybe Köln could put off an upset. Bayer Leverkusen will face off against Hoffenheim. Also a very, very good matchup. Should be a competitive one. Stuttgart will play the fairy tale run so far, guys, in Vehen Wiesbaden. I'm not sure if Vehen can get by Stuttgart. If they do, I mean... Christmas is coming and Christmas miracles are possible. <laughs> Freiburg will take on Leipzig. Probably Leipzig are the favorites, but you never know with Freiburg. Bayern Munich will take on Werder Bremen. And this is what we're going to do here. If Werder Bremen take care of Bayern Munich, we will put this one on right here. But only if Bremen can beat Bayern. Bremen, you got to eliminate the big giant. Please do it. And then finally, we'll see Borussia Dortmund face off against Borussia Mönchengladbach. The round of 16 is over, guys. Who is making it? to the quarterfinals and I don't know why this happens all the time here but we have some upsets. We always do <laughs> and I don't know why. It was Schalke versus Darmstadt. Darmstadt won 3-2 on aggregate. Darmstadt will be in our quarterfinals. Mainz versus Union Berlin. Union Berlin absolutely destroyed Mainz 4-0 on aggregate. Union Berlin is going to be in our quarterfinals. Wolfsburg versus FC Köln. Köln unfortunately is going home at the hands of Wolfsburg. Wolfsburg
Salzburg won 5-2 on aggregate. Hoffenheim versus Leverkusen, and this is where the fun begins. Bayer Leverkusen and Xabi Alonso, uh, they are going home. 3-2 on aggregate for Hoffenheim. And then we come to the biggest shock of our Bundesliga Champions League. It was Wehen Wiesbaden versus Stuttgart. And uh, Wehen Wiesbaden, they won 5-4 on aggregate. Stuttgart is going home, and Wiesbaden is going to the quarterfinals. What is happening? But it's not over yet, because RB Leipzig is also going home at the hands of Freiburg. 5-4 on aggregate for Freiburg. So we have Bayer Leverkusen that's eliminated. Now RB Leipzig is eliminated. Stuttgart is eliminated. SC Freiburg is also in the quarterfinals. Unfortunately, though, the upset stopped there because Bayern Munich, they were the clear favorites against Bremen and they showed that they were the favorites. Although Bremen won the second leg, Bayern Munich still won 4-3 on aggregate. And finally, the matchup with our two Borussias, Borussia Mönchengladbach against Borussia Dortmund. It was Borussia Dortmund 3-0 on aggregate. Mönchengladbach couldn't score a goal in two legs, so they're eliminated too. And so our last state, the quarterfinals are looking like this. It will be Darmstadt versus Union Berlin. One of them will be in the semifinals. Wolfsburg versus Hoffenheim. One of them will be in the semifinals. Wehen Wiesbaden will take on Freiburg. I mean, I don't know if they can beat Freiburg, but they, I mean, maybe they could now. Maybe they're the best team in the tournament left. And the last matchup, which is actually very good, it will be Bayern Munich versus Borussia Dortmund. So one of them will actually be eliminated. I don't know how to tell you this, guys, except that the quarterfinals are over and that we have more shocking results. Well, let's go. Union Berlin versus Darmstadt. It was Union Berlin. 5-4 on aggregate. Darmstadt is unfortunately going home in the quarterfinals. They made a decent run. Union Berlin is going to be in the semifinals. Hoffenheim and Wolfsburg. It was Wolfsburg 5-1 on aggregate over Hoffenheim. Hoffenheim ran out of gas in the quarterfinals. Wolfsburg is going to the semifinals. Freiburg versus Wiesbaden. My gosh. Wiesbaden is going to the semifinals, guys. <laughs> Wiesbaden, Wehen Wiesbaden is going to the semifinals. They beat Freiburg 4-3 on aggregate. They won the first match 3-1 and then they lost the second match 2-1, 4-3 on aggregate. And then finally, Borussia Dortmund versus Bayern Munich. It was always probably going to be Bayern Munich. Borussia Dortmund never beats Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich 5-1 on aggregate over two legs. So our semifinals are Union Berlin versus Wolfsburg. One of them will be in the final. And then it will be Wehen and Wiesbaden versus Bayern Munich. This is a... Uh Goliath versus David. David versus Goliath. Uh, I don't even know how this happened. I don't touch any settings. I don't play around with anything. You know, it, it just happened. Wehen Wiesbaden was the team that made the run. But can they beat Bayern Munich? Uh, probably not. Like, let's be realistic here. They're probably gonna lose. But we're all hoping and praying to the German football gods that Wehen Wiesbaden somehow managed to win over two legs against Harry Kane and Bayern. Okay, guys, I think I'm mentally checking out for the rest of the day because let me show you the semifinal results after the first leg, okay? Wolfsburg versus Union Berlin. It is nil-nil after the first leg on aggregate. So there's going to be a second leg, obviously. It will be decided who wins there. The first leg between Bayern Munich and Wehen Wiesbaden, it was... Wehen Wiesbaden is winning 2-1 on aggregate over Bayern Munich, okay? I, I think we have to watch the second leg. I really do. It's gonna be in Munich. At Bayern is gonna be at home, but Wehen has a 2-1 lead. They just can't let in any goals. I am extremely nervous as Harry Kane is walking out. There's Joshua Kimmich. It is Kimmich. Kickoff time here. Vehen is in their red kits with the black shorts and Bayern is in their white with red sleeves and red shorts. Kane to Musiala. Guys, where's the defense? Where's the defense? Someone get Lori, Le Le Lori, Leroy Sani. Get him, Kane shot. Stritzer with a save, six minutes in. Leroy Sani will hold on to the ball. Play it out wide to Goretzka. Goretzka, again outside to Mazraoui. Back to Goretzka, back to Mazraoui, inside to Leroy Sané, and there is the open pass to Jamal Musiala. Musiala carries, ball roll, he is covered, nowhere to go. To Kane, shot, oh! How does that go in? No! That should never go in from there. Like, from there, that should never go in. Oh, that's such a tight angle. How does that, oh my gosh, that's awful goalkeeping. Come on, Van, pick it up, it's 2-2. I think Bayern is actually winning because they lost the first game 2-1. So, which means Van need a goal. And now, come on. Stritzel with a save. 30 minutes in and Bayern is dominating here. It's gonna take a miracle for Wehen to win this to, to win this match. Uh, an absolute Christmas miracle. Bayern with the corner. Inside the box. Harry Kane. Off the line by Goppel. Someone get the ball. What's happening? I mean, this, this is gonna be a long day for Wehen at the office, man. They just gotta play 
Oh, just just leave it at 1-0 before half. Leave it at 1-0 before half. No shot. It's, it's near post again. The goalkeeping has been atrocious. Absolutely dreadful goalkeeping. I don't know how they got this far, Vehen. I honestly don't know. There's no way they were playing like this when they're uh, facing Freiburg. But the extra goal does not change anything because Vehen still need a goal. If Vehen score one more or just one and it ends 2-1, it will go to extra time. So not all is lost. We still have hope. Okay, Ref, just blow the whistle. Ref, blow the whistle. Let's get to half time. Ref, blow the whistle. Ref, there's the whistle. 2-0 Bayern, 3-2 on aggregate for Bayern. Let's just hope Vehen can come out in the second half and, and maybe steal one. Harry Kane scored in the 25th minute, scored in the 37th minute. The second goal was probably a little bit more understandable, but the first one, that should that should have never gone in. And Harry Kane is on the attack once again. Musiala to Sané. It's blocked by Matheson. Coman. Out wide to Alfonso Davies. Fonzie back to Coman. He's just going to carry it into the box and it's going to be three. And I think it's over. I think the miracle run of Vehen Visbaden is over. Their goalkeeper sucks. It's not good. Well, now they definitely need a miracle. The biggest miracle the football world has ever seen. Because they need two goals in a span of 15 minutes against Bayern Munich away. Imagine if it happens. In, just imagine. Kovacevic! Oh! 82nd minute. It's not over yet. They need two goals. Kovacevic. Pushing forward. Into the box to Katic. But he's just way too strong to deal with Upa Meccano. Upa Meccano is just, he's an absolute beast. Vertagen out wide to Gopal. Maybe they can get, get one back, you know, just, just to say, hey, you know, don't disrespect us. We're a good, so, solid side. And no, that's it. It's over. Bayern Munich will be going to the Bundesliga Champions League final. Unfortunately, Vehen Wiesbaden's run, it ends in the semis at the hands of the best German side Bayern Munich Harry Kane five attempts two goals and so the semi-finals finished like this we all know that it was Bayern Munich 4-2 on aggregate over Vehen Wiesbaden and the other semi-final between Wolfsburg and Union Berlin well it was Wolfsburg 1-0 on aggregate over Union Berlin so Union Berlin is unfortunately eliminated in the semi-finals and so our final of the Bundesliga Champions League it will be Wolfsburg versus Bayern Munich and we're gonna simulate the final to see who wins I hope it's Wolfsburg Come on, Wolfsburg. Come on. It is Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich are crowned Bundesliga champions. 3-1 over Wolfsburg. Some teams made some good runs. Unfortunately, Bayern Munich stood tall and they defended their title. My friends, thank you very much for watching. A little bit disappointing. Vehen Wiesbaden so close yet so far. But you also got to give it to Wolfsburg and Union Berlin as well. They made it pretty far. Who would have expected to have Bayern Munich in the semifinals? Well, everyone expected Bayern Munich to be there. But... Wolfsburg, Union Berlin, and especially Vehen. I mean, I take my hat off to all those three clubs because they performed admirably and they performed very well. As always, my friends, thank you very much for watching and supporting the channel. I always appreciate it. Maybe we can do this in Spain next because maybe Barcelona and Real Madrid would have a little bit of competition if La Liga was in a Champions League format. You never know. So let me know down in the comments if you like that idea and if you have any other cool ideas that you want to see on the channel. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Always keep smiling. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which is probably tomorrow or the next day, all right? Peace, 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 peace.